Everyone loves a happy ending. Yes. Or in this case, <laughs> two Eagles fans have a happy beginning. You you know this story. After the Eagles won the Super Bowl, Seamus Clancy tweeted a photo of this famous kiss, you know, the one in Times Square after World War II ended, the, the, the sailor and the nurse kissing. So he goes, me and your girl on Broad Street. He wanted to meet a woman down on Broad Street and recreate the picture in celebration of the Super Bowl victory. Well, Ashley Sutter saw it and offered to recreate it. I'll come down there and stand on Broad Street in the median there and kiss you. When we had them on Good Day Philadelphia, we kind of felt, even though they were strangers, after this kiss, after this picture was taken, there were a few little uh, tingly sparks between them. Is this romantic in any way now, or are you just... We know it's early, but you know. I think so, a little bit, but yeah. I guess... Uh... What? We, we what? did go on a date on Friday. I love this! <laughs> what did I tell you? I, I said this would be the perfect story if you guys end up together about how you met. Yeah. I was excited, and sure I still were. am. I love stories like this. So a few months later, they returned with an update. The thing about um, Philly sports venues, you know they can do weddings. Like, it's kind of maybe the law, you might have to have it at the link. They've only been living together for a few oh. weeks, Karen. No, it's we, a three-act play. We, I'm already getting to the third yeah, act. Fifth act is uh, Jason Kelsey does the officiating out of Broad and, Broad and Federal. Yeah, we would like to shut down a block of Broad Street to just do it where we first met. <gasps> you're, you're talking marriage? You've discussed this? It's pretty serious, Mike. <laughs> I'm so excited uh -huh. for them. I've been following this journey. I'm like so happy. I saw this. Whoa! There they Hi, are. Hi, Davis. Hi, Ashley. Good morning. Good morning. So what's <laughs> the big update, Seamus? I wake up every morning like I have for the last four years and think, where would I be if Mike Jarrett didn't have me on TV? <laughs> February 2018. So now I'm responsible, not uh, <laughs> the Eagles and Nick Foles. So you're engaged. Throw up the ring? We are. There Yay! it is. All right, Ashley, no. <laughs> give us every detail, when it happened, where, and were you surprised at all? Oh, man, I was absolutely surprised. So um, it happened this past Friday. We went to the, the Sixers game. Um, and after the game, we decided that we were going to go to a bar. Um, my birthday was last week, so we were just going to finish the week off um, with a nice drink at the bar where we had our first date. So the bar where we had our first date was Pope, the pub on Pashunk East. Sure, Pope. love that place. So it's such a great place. We <laughs> love it there. Um, and so after the game, we jumped on the subway, um, got off at Broad and Federal, and you know that's where it all happened um, back in 2018. Perfect. So <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely clueless. I had no idea that any of this was going to happen. Well, you happen. look doubled over in pain in the first picture. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was. I had no clue. I was in absolute shock. Um, we got off the subway. Um, I jokingly said to him, I was like, oh, like, look where we are. Do you want to kiss? <laughs> um, had no idea knowing ev everything that was about to just happen. <laughs> um, um, so then we kissed. I started to walk away and head to the bar. And he said, Ash. And I turned around and he was down on one knee. Wow. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> I was in I was in absolute shock. I I think I blacked out for a second. I had no idea what was happening. My friend was hiding behind cars, taking pictures of everything. It was it was unreal. It was so magical. <laughs> it really was. I love this. So over the last <laughs> catching us up since 2018. So Seamus, you're working in sports, and then Ashley, you have a pretty good job down at the Navy Yard doing like cool stuff as well. What have you guys been up to? Yeah, Ash. Oh well, I. I am a uh, freelance podcaster and writer for uh, SB Nation, so BleedingGreenNation.com, LibertyBallers.com, covering the Eagles and Sixers. So Look waking up you. every morning, doing what I love, talking about Philly sports, Philly sports, the Eagles really in particular. Talking uh, about. For so long, uh, controlled my personal life, <laughs> and then they became my professional life, and now they're completely intertwined where it's both because of how I met hers. It's all my personal life and what I love growing up, but now I have this Look at professional this. Uh, avenue with it as well. So, yeah. weird world. Uh, you've been talking about the Eagles a lot because it's football season. And one yeah. of my favorite moments from the Super Bowl, besides the Philly special, was when Brandon Graham stripped yeah. sacked Brady, right? Yeah. Yes. 
And this is kind of late Absolutely in the game. Incredible. If this is where we kind of thought, oh my God, <laughs> we might win this thing. <laughs> Did you feel that way, Seamus? Yeah, I was, uh, I'm someone who obviously is very emotive, very animated when I'm going to Eagles, even though I'm at the link, I have season tickets or just watching at home with my friends and family. But I had such a deep rooted anxiety that entire game that <laughs> even in those huge moments, like the Philly special where normally you would have thought that I'd be, you know, jumping around celebrating. I just kind of stayed hung, like hunched over in my seat. I was at my friend Mike's house and I used his bathroom trash can oh. and just put it in front of me all game because I didn't I didn't actually vomit, but I was so nervous the entire game <laughs> was gonna get sick that I didn't the first play I celebrated the entire night was that Brandon Graham play. Right, that's for the first exactly. time it really hit me mm -hmm. that they were actually going to win the game. Well listen closely now because Brandon Graham has a message for you. Roll it. Hey Seamus, hey Ashley, this is Brandon Graham. Hey, I saw your story and had to reach out to congratulate you guys on your engagement. I will never forget how great the day in February 2018 was when we paraded down Broad Street and celebrated with the city of Philadelphia. Hearing a story like yours is why playing for this city is so special. On behalf of the Eagles organization, we wish you the best on this next chapter together. Congrats again and go Birds. Well, Ashley liked it. <laughs> yeah, what's your reaction? <laughs> yeah, uh, someone's cutting out. We're making a nice little sausage and onion omelet in the kitchen right now, it seems like, down here in our apartment. Onions, uh huh? Oh, man. <laughs> Both in, in tears. How but special is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I remember when he had the strip sack, that I, I immediately started crying during the Super Bowl, and that's just how I felt right now. Like. I just never would have thought that, you know, he would acknowledge this and have something nice to say or, you know, even say my name, yeah. have something um, to say towards me. I don't know. Yeah. And is there going to be a what Philly is, Eagles what? element to it? I mean, there has to be now. Uh, there right? has, there has, we don't know yet. It's obviously, uh, you know, only like 72 hours. I mean, However, if but, we could get married at the link. Yeah, if, if, if BG wants to officiate too, uh, I'd certainly be, be I mean, obviously he's gone above and beyond already and that was, I can't see it on our little screen here, but I'm DVRing it on TV right now. So Good. immediately after, we can say the check out as well. Oh, we'll send it. We're so that. happy yeah. for you. We're so happy for you. I'm crying, like watching you crying in your mouth, like your jaw dropped. And I'm so happy. I'm so, so sending the best love and everything for the future. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You got Go it. Birds. Good luck to you. Can you Thank imagine? you. If Tom Brady had completed that pass in the end zone, they wouldn't even have met. So Flat maybe Nick Foles or somebody could come back to town and officiate the win. That would be so cool. That was cool.